Mom? What are you doing? Look, you're gonna have to move more of your stuff. There's not enough room. Me? You get rid of some of your stuff. Look, bro. It wasn't my idea to move in here. It wasn't mine either. All right, you just stick to your half of the room. I don't believe this. This is ridiculous. I can't even get to my bed. Correction, my bed. I always sleep next to a window. You stole my bed. I got here first. So I get first choice? I was here first. I got here 15 years ago. My mum's family got here 100 years ago. Look, I'm the oldest here, so live with it. And no, you can't borrow any of my stuff. Mum! Mum! Well, Mom. this is Miller Payne. <laughs> We've gone and done it now. One big happy family. <laughs> Mum! Brett, I'm sure if you just give it some time, you'll get used to it. I've given it some time. You have given it two minutes. I can't take it anymore. If I could find a way for there to be another bedroom in this house, then I would, but I can't. Well, why doesn't he share with Meredith? She's his sister. Technically, she's your sister now, too. I am not sharing with Meredith. Look, this is probably just as difficult for Wayne as it is for you. You're supposed to be on my side. I am on your side. I mean, there are no sides. Look, things will settle down. We all just need to give each other a chance. And we all really need to store some of this stuff in the basement. You know, sharing a room for the first time causes stress in 92% of cases. That's great, Meredith. Did you look that up? Thought you might be interested. And in 87% of cases, the stress resolves itself. Oh, yeah? And how long does that take? Yuck! That's not mould, is it? No. No, it's just a mark on the wall. It's probably full of bacteria. You should get rid of it. need some time alone to adjust all the changes in your life. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll wait. You just sit there and have some quiet time.
Next time, I do not Ms. want Ms. Murphy. Ms. Murphy. Ms. Murphy. Ms. Murphy. Girls, girls, what on earth happened? What are you doing outside in your bathrobes? Miss Murphy, there was a boy in the showers. Which boy? I've never seen him before. He must have broken in. He wasn't a student. No, he's really tall, blonde hair. hair. One at a time, girls. He was wearing a tacky yellow t-shirt and stupid baggy shorts. Obviously a loser. Thank you, Tara. Oh, find Seamus. Tell him I want a complete search of the school and grounds. Quickly. Brett Miller. Who are you? Never mind. What are you doing here? Where? In this shed. I, I mean, where is this shed? O'Keefe's College. Where's that? Galway. <laughs> Ireland. Earth. The universe. Ireland. Okay. Who are you really? And why are you here? No sign of him inside the school, Miss Murphy. Well, then, take the boys and search the grounds. Very good, Miss Murphy. All right, in groups of two, we'll take it section by section. But this is no excuse for messing, now. I'll be watching you. All you girls, get inside before you catch your death of cold. Phone call for you, Miss Murphy. Not now, Corma. It's the cops, Miss. Gardy, why didn't you say so? Get weirder every day, Cormac. There's an intruder on the school grounds, but this baby will pick him up. He doesn't stand a chance. Uh -huh. Since when is a metal detector designed to pick up intruders? It's an infrared body heat detector, actually, and it will pick up anyone within a range of 200 meters. In fact, it's just picking up a signal now. Do you seriously expect anybody to believe that? You're such a loser, Cormac. He's hiding in the shed. I know it sounds unbelievable. Well, yeah. But it's the truth. Really? Yeah. Right, you were you were magically transported here by by some strange thing in your basement in Australia. I'm telling you it is the truth. And and they think I broke into the girl's shower room. Yeah. Yeah, and now the whole school is searching for you. Who's in there? It's you, Hannah. Hi, Cormac. Uh, my infrared body heat detector picked up your signature. Actually, picked it up twice. Who else is in here? No one. Are you sure? I definitely got a double signal. Cormac, what are you doing here? Well, there's an intruder in the school. Uh, an, an intruder? Yeah, he broke into the girls' shower room. The whole school is out looking for him. A boy in a yellow T-shirt and shorts? Yeah. Have you seen him? No. I mean, yes. Um, he may went that way. I saw him through the window. Right. Uh, maybe it's the amplitude. I definitely got two signals. Aren't you going to get after him uh, before he, he gets away? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, OK. See you. Just stay here. I'll come back. Sign of him yet, Miss Murphy. Get everyone inside. This intruder is an escaped prisoner.
feeling better now. Brett, did you hear me? What was that? Are you okay? Brett, I'm getting worried now. Some stuff I forgot to put away. It can wait. No one's allowed outside. But Miss Hannah, the guards are on their way. There's a homicidal maniac on the loose. He's escaped from a detention centre, Tara. That does not mean he's a murderer. Through the portal to, to Perth. It actually exists. You're not insane. It's exactly like you said. It, it's amazing. It, it, it's more than amazing. It, it's. I mean, one step and it's Australia. One step back, it's Ireland. You didn't see anyone, did you? No. No, no, the door's locked. But there was a girl there. Meredith. Well, she, she, she's my stepsister. Oh, so the portal is real. At least I'm not going mad. Thing is, what do we do about it? I don't know. It, it, it's, it's all too weird. I've, I've, I've got to get back and figure it out. No. You'll have to get past the guardie first. What's the guardie? The cops. The cops? Boy, you really overreact to strangers over here. Well, they're, they're looking for a, an escaped prisoner. Not for me. Not yet. Don't worry. I know these grounds like the back of my hand. We'll get through it. Brett! Can you hear me? Brett, talk to me. Have you hurt yourself? Just hang on. I'm going to go get the spare key box. So I'll be back soon. Up the rear now, come on, bring up the rear there. No problem, you said. All right. This isn't gonna work. Back to the shed. I've got another idea. Come on. Oh, it's better than your last one. If you've got any of my mini car posters in there, you're dead. Wayne, he could be lying there unconscious right now. I heard a crash. So? Doesn't mean he hurt himself. But it's strange that he hasn't answered. He is strange. Brett! Wayne's here too now. We're both looking for the spare key. I see where I'm going in this thing. Now remember, your name is Brenda and you're in the beekeeping club. Why do I have to have a girl's name? Because only people with girls' names are allowed near the girls' showers. I don't want to go near the girls' showers. It's the way home. Remember? Okay, it's Brenda. Okay. This is gonna work, isn't it? Of course it is, as long as you don't mess things up. Hey, you! What are you doing outside? Um, oh, um, uh, uh, um... No excuses. All students must remain in the school. Back inside at once. Oh, but, Come uh, on! Brett! 
Can you hear me? Open the door. I tried all the keys, but none of them work. And he hasn't said anything since you heard that crash. No. Come out, you loser. Wayne. All right. This calls for drastic action. Wayne, go and get the toolbox. But, uh, come on. But Brenda's out there somewhere. OK, well, I'll radio the other guards. What does she look like? Stop it. Hold on. Stay there. Stay there. Nothing? What? Why did you give him the suit? It was bigger than me. And he wanted it. Well, thank you for your help, Miss Murphy. Thank you. I'm glad you got him. Is that him? I'm not sure. It doesn't look like him. It must be. These people are very good at disguise. That's why they're criminals. Fred? Fred? Are you all right, sweetheart? Don't you worry. I'll get the door open. I hope he's all right. Maybe we should call an ambulance. You hang in there, mate. Help is on its way. Stand back, everyone. I'm going in. Well, that was lucky. So, I still can't believe it. Uh, me neither. I mean, one step and we're on the other side of the world. I know. It, it, it's totally unreal. Well, well, I pick it back. Thanks for your help. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. See ya. Oh, wait a minute. When do I get to see Australia? You owe me. Okay, come on. We're coming, sweetheart. No, my family. What? Yeah, yeah. Get out. Get out. Australia. Are you all right, Brett? What, what's going on? Uh... You okay? Yeah. We couldn't work out what happened to you. Meredith thought you were unconscious. Hey, Mum, you know, you know how you said if you could find another way for there to be a, another bedroom in this house? Yeah. Well, look around. Oh, you can't sleep in a dingy old room like this. Yeah, sure I can. I want to. I don't know, sweetheart. Well, I was lying down here. I, I did some thinking and, and you're right. I should do my bit to help out. Wayne. Mate, I want you to have my old room. You do? You do. Hey, you bet. I'd figured I'd, I'd been pretty selfish about things and... Well, Wayne, I, I want you to make yourself at home up there. It's yours. Gee, that's very generous of you, Brett. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's no worries, Craig. After all, we're one big happy family now, right? Mm.